Akwabo, welcome back to Danny's channel. Yes, 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 guys, I am doing the exit interview. And guess who is next? None other than Raquel, Jackie's friend. Raquel, welcome back to Danny's channel. Thank you. Birthday night, guys. And uh, Raquel, this segment, you know, because the people heard you when you arrived in Ghana. This segment is you sharing. After being in Ghana for more than 10 days, how has it been for you? Has it exceeded your expectation? Share, please, share. It certainly has. It's, uh, it's over the top. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I never expect this. And I'm so happy that I came. I'm so happy to be experiencing this. this this wonderful I can't I don't even know how to explain how mm. how great it is that to be here. Um and as I said before, I just feel so welcomed here and and I'm looking forward for my next trip. Mm -hmm. And I mean this birthday party, especially tonight, was fantastic. I mean, I was saying Jackie, I'm gonna do my birthday here next year. Wow, wow, so, wow. Definitely. Um but the experience overall was just fantastic, different mm -hmm. in some aspects, um, but for the most part, I really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it, um, and I definitely will be telling my friends about it. As a matter of fact, I've been inviting my friends to watch um, the channel and to see what we have been doing. I've been doing yeah. a lot of videos as well mm -hmm. and sharing with all my friends back home and family. Mm -hmm. And everybody's excited to see what's next. And every time somebody's mm -hmm. not seeing a post for a minute, come to the post, they're yeah. finishing a the post. Right. You know, but it's it's been great, you know. Um I love the food. We had some um steamed some um fish. It was jerk fish, grilled fish mm -hmm. with yam. Oh, that's my favorite. I wow. love that. Yes. But you're so comfortable here, Raquel, between you and Louis, that you are the chef. Oh, yeah. Both of you are chefs. So you're, you felt so comfortable being here that you guys cooked and went to the supermarket and market yeah. on your own. You yes. know, I did it one time with you when you arrived on a Saturday. So how is that? Because you literally have been assimilating into Ghana life. How is that going out and about to the supermarket and market? It's like being home. Mm. It's like. I've been here a long time and I know where to go. I mean, I'm now starting to give directions and check. Oh, you live a long time. I'm like, look at that. No, but it's so easy here. Mm -hmm. I think I could just transition from being in Jamaica and living here in no time. I Music mean, to my ears. Yes, definitely. Music. Yeah, I feel like this is home. Mm -hmm. It's it's a for me. It's like this is um Jamaica in a bigger space. Yes. Yes, it's, it feels that way. Yes, it's, it, I think I find, but I understand now why people say they come to Ghana and they can just leave Jamaica and come here to live because there you it's, go. it's easy to just transition from one thing to the next. What know? stood out for you in all your excursions and moving about? What is that one thing that left a mark? If there is one thing on um, you, um, what I like. We when we went, we went to Kamasi, mm -hmm. Kamasi was it? Yeah. And um, when we went to see how they, they um, oh the yarn, how they did the the material and stuff, it was amazing to me. And they were so nice, um, to to um, have taught us how to do it. So we mm -hmm. actually went around the sewing machine and we were doing it ourselves. It was that was to me was remarkable. Mm -hmm. And how the guys were there working and they were that they seemed to enjoy what they were doing. You know, and then I went back to see some sewing machine from my great great grandmother. Look at that! You know? Yeah, you know what? This experience reminds me of. It took me to the place where my great great grandmother. I felt like I was in that world. Wow! You know? Wow! Wow! Yeah. So, um, yeah, it kind of give it, being in Ghana in some areas. It kind of, um, I feel like I'm back in the my great grandmother's days, you know, mm -hmm. they can kind of give me a, a feel of that. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Because Pretty. they hold true, um, uh, you know, one will say in fashion, but certain values that we had and um, culturally, 
you know, that we may have lost. When you come here, it's almost like you're back in time. Back in, yeah. Right? That makes sense to you, I think. That's similar to you referring to your great-great-grandmother. Yeah. It's like you feel you're gone way back. Yeah. Right? Um, how was it traveling on the coach to Kumasi? How was, how was that experience for you? Um, the coach, um, the first coach that we took was kind of, you know, a little bit outdated. Yes, it was our older model. Older model, but it was okay. It was comfortable. That air condition, that's number one. Mm -hmm. So that was fine. Once it had AC for me, I was good. Mm -hmm. And then when coming back, no, yeah, man, say, yeah, man, this is like um, Luxor Express. Right, like, it, was yeah, a, it, was it was a more it was modern more, type. More, more, yes, it was more comfortable. Mm -hmm. I mean, I slept right. The five hours didn't even feel like five hours to me. Mm -hmm. It felt like maybe more more one hour flight um, travel. So, like, you definitely return to Ghana of and course. you return with your My family. family and family. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And family. yeah. My sisters are can't wait to come. My fa my father's he, he's he loves you know he always wants to come to um to Africa yes and so he's gonna come on the next trip. I'm planning. I wanna plan the next trip right now. That is fantastic. Yeah. Ghana will be pleased. You yes. came, you landed, and you inhaled her. And you're about to exhale her, but you will return. I will. What definitely, is, definitely. And it's my pleasure to see you again. Last couple of seconds. What would you say to someone? Sell Ghana for me, like you. Sell, sell her hard. <laughs> Ghana. It is truly the motherland. I would say. This is where I think we should all eventually come back to because yes. this is this is like. Well, yeah, yes. this is where we come from. Yes. You know? Yes. I know. You don't feel like you're, and you know, the people here in Ghana, though, I don't know. This is different. It's, it's always please, thank you, very courteous. Manners. Manners. Candle. Manners. Mm -hmm. You know, they're always just welcoming. They make you feel like warm. Mm -hmm. They make you feel comfortable. You don't have to worry about no pickpocket. You don't yes. have to worry about I walk into the market with my phone in my, on my hand. But jewelry, I don't want to think about wondering if I'm going to be robbed or anything. You have people to help you, to mm -hmm. carry my luggage. Oh, yes. Lord, I feel like queen. queen. Yes. Sure. I feel like a queen. Yes. I feel like I'm a queen here. That's it. That's the best way to close. <laughs> exactly. If they see you with two extra bags in your hand, yeah. there's somebody coming to say, madam, let yeah. me help you. Yeah. Raquel, thank you so much You're for sharing on the Diana's channel. You're welcome. And um, it was a pleasure having you here. Thank right? you. Um, to all, rocky, not so rocky, but at the end of the day, we're closing out big. And I appreciate you for being here with yes. Jackie. Thank Guys, you. let me just say this to you. Raquel is the one that has been producing those <laughs> lovely shorts. So when you see me go back to Dan S. style, it's Raquel is no longer here. <laughs> Raquel, thank you for producing those wonderful shows. You're welcome. Guys, if you enjoyed Raquel's exit one on one, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you. Merase. God Merase. bless. Yes.